Hi, I'm Jim, and it's my job to fill you in on the new Decorator's Lighting Kit. We really enjoy our deck, and we spend a lot of time out here. And after the sun goes down, we figure that some attractive deck lighting will give us an added measure of safety while adding a touch of elegance. New to Decorator's is this low-voltage LED light kit that includes eight lights. The main components include the weather-resistant transformer and the photo sensor. The transformer needs to be connected to a GFCI receptacle that is marked wet location. And you'll want to mount the photo sensor with the included screw on a wall no farther than one foot from the electrical outlet where the transformer will be connected. Okay, this should be a good spot for the photo sensor because you want a clear view for this eye to be able to see changes in daylight. Here you can see that it's not behind any obstacles or foliage and it's not too close to any light source. It should work fine. Now what we need to do is figure out the placement of the lights themselves. The most common application is for illuminating stairs, so the lights would be placed on the risers like so. They can also be used for accents under bottom rails or front mounted on fascia. It is best to avoid high traffic areas. By the way, to complement the deck lighting below, you may want to consider solar powered cap lights like these. And just so you know, there's no electrical connection between solar powered cap lights and our hardwired deck lights. This extension wire is 16 feet in length and connects the photo sensor to the first light in the series. You'll want to keep this in mind when you're choosing the location for that first light. Now, when positioning lights, maintain 10 feet of clearance from a pool, spa, fountain, or other water source. As you can see, each light has a male and female end, so nothing can be cut. Maximum cord length between lights is 5 feet, so remember this when selecting locations. And it's not a bad idea to connect the extension wire and all the fixtures end to end just to see what you have to work with. There's a one inch paddle bit included in your light kit, but you know the words of wisdom from that wise old deck lighting installer who will of course remain anonymous. Measure twice and cut once. Be sure you've calculated the proper distances and determined that there are no nails or hardware behind the risers before drilling any holes. Oh, and one more thing. Keep your paddle bit level so it goes straight in. If your hole is tilted at all, the light fixtures may not fit properly. If you did string your lights together, now you want to disconnect them and insert each fixture into its corresponding hole. Simply feed the two wires in first and then firmly press the fixture into the hole so that it fits tightly against the surface. Something to note here, the bulbs are slightly angled, so make sure they consistently point either up or down depending on the desired orientation you're after. Once all your lights are in place, connect the male end of the extension wire to the outside of the photo sensor and the female end to the first light. With each successive fixture, it's simply a matter of connecting each fixture to the next. Be sure to secure each connection by tightening the screw nut. All we have left to do now is connect the photo sensor to the transformer, then plug the transformer into our GFCI outlet, and voila, it doesn't work. Actually, it's good that it doesn't work, which means the photo sensor is working properly. It is daytime after all. It's not supposed to go on. To test the system, all you need to do is cover the photo sensor with some black tape. Keep in mind that there may be a 30 second delay when the lighting conditions change, but otherwise, those lights will consistently turn on at dusk and they'll turn off at dawn. If something's not working right, chances are it's the connection between fixtures or the LEDs themselves. Check the connections by making sure the male and female connectors are pressed firmly together and secured with the screw nut like so. Now if the connection is good, you may want to check the fixture itself. Best thing to do is swap the fixture in question with another fixture that you know is working properly. So there you have it. Safe, elegant, cost efficient lighting. As dependable as the sunset. I'll see you next project.